uh, defenses really have to be on their toes. And uh, I think it's important that the offense uh, stays focused, doesn't get frustrated if, um, you know, a flank push uh, breaks down or if they get stuffed, um, just kind of trying normal stuff. Just kind of got to stay calm and uh, make kind of slow progress. Yeah, because like I think a lot of teams kind of bog themselves down trying to like overcommit for certain points. And like mm -hmm. like you said, I think it's just kind of good to sort of rotate or just keep in mind that you know if they have space somewhere else, they might be able to abuse it and just you know avoid the sentry or avoid the sniper, and, like um, do whatever it takes really to just try and get some space. And uh, the Scots starting out on uh, defense here. I've seen some uh, Christikis actually. We've got Strum <laughs> tea in the sandwich in front of the door, but. Uh, um, I'm expecting the sniper to be sort of staring through this window spot, but it could be a typical sort of b-hole by the looks of it. Um, no, no telly to up top actually yet, although Royal Flush is what we're doing that right now I think, so. Um, we have to see if they just want to rush into A or rush into B. Yeah, just a spy on A, scout kind of uh, waiting by the computer door as well. But uh, he's all the way back there, so probably just parking up for after the capture. Yeah, it's gonna be a level three going down immediately on the offense. So uh, no wrangle coming out there. The food's gonna be killing that off with the help of bees. But um, kind of slow progress walking into B here. It's a lot of pressure, but it's gonna be easily capping out A. Chipper gonna be trying to like uh, scout them out. Just take some damage actually. I'm surprised he didn't get picked up there. So they obviously didn't find him with that. Yeah, took a straight rocket earlier, but uh, large amount of players on A. Some of those might uh, drop back, but it looks like they want to just pressure through computer here. Yeah, Scout's got a lot of damage. Jazz gonna be trying to, you know, okay. his job scout that out. They are uh, rotating back, it seems. Still kind of slow progress though. I'm expecting the sat waves to possibly come in from B. Like, they might go drop down. Sprasti goes for a bit of a stab here. Doesn't manage to find anything. Gets picked up by Ritalin. So, we all played by Ritalin. So, figure that out with uh, Ace trying to fist to steal his way in here with the help of the level 3 in the background. Yeah, it makes it to the stairs, but there's a soldier up there as well as the heavy weapons guy scrambled. They're gonna pick up a frag on Ace as well. That is the heavy weapons guy for Team Italy. And the force? Though? Ares goes down really low, I think. So 22 health for Ares. Gets forced out by the demo. So uh, Deox doing a really good job of that to try and spawn them out there, and uh, the demo's gonna get caught in here. So wow, this is not looking that great for uh, for Italy right now. Scout and uh, soldier got through computer. Are back in the. Uh, E point. Ch Chippo does go back. We also have a spy decloak on the point, but uh, spotted by the demo man, so it does get shut backwards. A capture on E is about halfway, but this is when Red is going to start to rotate in. The weapons guy shoving the scout player back. Other players rotating backwards to uh, deal with this. Sprasty still successfully uh, infiltrated. Oh, Scramble takes a teleport, gets some frags there, but doesn't manage to get the med. Deox is going to be helping him in here. Scramble was in decent positioning, could be able to avoid some of that damage, but does eventually go down to the demo. Um, so that was all played by Alex to kind of pressure E point there and spread their attention. Oh. Benrimer forced a pop here from the stickies of uh, Fluo. And uh, Soldier to the max, uh, getting behind and take care of that teleporter as well. The blue's starting to get some momentum here. And uh, another important facet of this map is that uh, on defense, it's kind of like a payload. You have to realize when you just kind of have to back up, you know, you're not going to be able to stop some of these earlier points from being captured uh, for the whole time. You just have to realize, okay, you know, this has been a good hold. It's time to retreat. And um, Scotland has done that and does look like they're getting pretty well set for... Um, well, at least slowing down the C point and getting backwards without dying. Oh, no. As I say that, though, great jump in uh, from to the max and uh, getting the kill on Fenrir. Yeah, they need more people on C there, Scotland, because like they got the force out. I don't think they even realized they forced them until too late, and then they kind of mm -hmm. like back up to C, and now they're kind of just losing their med. And now uh, Italy has a big advantage here. It's like 60%, but I mean, infor importantly, they do still have E control, I guess. Yeah, I, I kind of complimented them uh, prematurely because they got out uh, early, but. At the same time, they kind of split their retreat. It seemed like most of the team actually just kind of ended up um, cut off on E side and uh, with kind of the, the situation with Fenrir and I believe it was uh, Deox with them, they were able to get cut out and that's just a big loss. You, you can't uh, put any sort of defense up uh, if you know, you're only players that are there, your medic and somebody else and they go down, you know. And uh, just like that as well, um, Italy's storming in towards the D point and uh, I think this is smart that before you know, you don't try to commit too hard at, uh, towards E Fender? after capturing C. 
Yeah, yeah Fenrir, Fen Fenrir gets picked up though by the scout. Didn't actually see him go down there, but I think the spine the scout came in from into white room or computer uh, behind. But um, they didn't really manage to quite view that well. Oh, wow. The intent was there, but uh, great teleporter and uh, placement by the uh, blue engineer. I've got that uh, C, or sorry, A E connector holding down that hallway. Ares uh, getting stabbed though, so uh, you know, Chipper coming out with that stab on. So the men's gonna delay their push because they can't really take it into the sentry without heals there. But um, they need to like stop feeding. I think it's got they're kind of really spread out. They need to help the uh, the sentry as uh, most of the players really are just kind of in this connector area, ready to get this in. As Sprasty comes in with the big stab to take out the gun, so this is not looking great. Three down for Scotland right now. No, definitely a very strong showing right now. As uh, Italy really taking this uh, by storm, I was expecting a little bit more out of Scotland. Oh no, but uh, Basil has gone down low, actually doesn't fall in the pit, able to walk his way back up. That little ledge down there offering some protection. Doesn't uh, save Erupo, who goes down, but a lot of pressure. Look at that sentry gun. And uh, if Scotland can't get him out of this, <clears throat> off this point anytime soon here, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, that was a ballsy sort of sentry placement there by uh, Arupa, but this sentry gun's actually sort of managing to defend against pretty much everyone. It's just, just gonna easily rescue Ranger that from uh, from main connect, and yeah, it's gonna be like a five minute time, I think. So, pretty, I'd say a relatively quick time coming out from Italy there. Yeah, certainly. <coughs> and I was surprised that uh, considering that the C defense was kind of sacrificed, weren't able to get a solid defense up on E. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, they just lost Benmer um, a couple times there, and that's um, really unacceptable. Um, also, the uh, engineer for Italy, a uh, really good setup there, and if uh, the teleporter and the sentry gun doesn't get disrupted, and then the team does a good job as well of kind of realizing, like, you know, a couple people need to, like, walk past the teleporter, you know, regardless of your class, how slow you are, how important you are. Um, you, you need to flank people to take the teleporter, and the other people need to walk in the computer. So Blue did a really good job of splitting up their offensive push in the last, and um, was an easy capture for them in the end. Yeah, like like I said, they kind of just like sandwich them, really. Kind of just uh, coming in with the decent flank classes. But I think one thing Scotland probably needs to work on is just like trying to get the combo together because I feel like they're not really connecting up with Fender as well as they could do, and they're not really full kiting back into like computer or like back into C that well. So mm -hmm. it's kind of grouping, really, because the, the defense respawn time is like huge. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely can't give up just kind of sloppy frags. Um, you know, with that super long timer, as you mentioned, um, if you just kind of, the, the offensive team can get established, uh, and there's just no chance to really kind of get that momentum back. Yeah, I've got, uh, got 20 grams of on this barrel spot, this, <coughs> looking down this sideline into uh, into the ace board. Uh, ace has managed to grab bees there, but uh, she's probably going to go for a bit of a stab here. Tries to go for the demo, but doesn't manage to find it, so I'm nicking for him there, but it'll be two down for... Uh, Scotland right now is to try and pressure in here. I think they're going to try and clear out this top area while Ace is uh, trying to... Oh, he gets caught out though. Might go down here. Just get caught out by the Pyro. Sentry's still up to try and defend against this, but Deox has got some free spam. And uh, Italy also have kind of an overcommitment on the A side. I mean, Sprasti does drop down now, um, which will help out. Looks like the uh, B Sentry gun will have to get pulled back a bit. And uh, at this point, there's certainly kind of a momentum turn. <gasps> once you... Fenrir! Yeah. I think Fenrir just dropped. I, I think the spy went on him and the scout went on him as well, and he just ends up dropping that. So that's gonna be that's gonna be huge for the defense if they don't manage to kind of get any position in here, in Scotland. But scramble is up, up top here, sort of spamming in. Diox goes for his big jump in, manages to sort of damage the sentry a bit and manages to spam them out. But uh, I think that might actually get this. But the Uber still hasn't been used really, and they're gonna use it onto the heavy, I think. Yeah, it is a pretty good Uber charge, and also Fenner has come back here. Uh, Ace is not quite able to get the medic there sort of overcommitted his damage uh, towards uh, that direction as well earlier, but they are going to get the kill on Scrambled. Fenrir is still in the back, full health now. Scout going in for the jump. It gets the kill on the Soldier, so Fenrir now being defended by Jazz. Jazz will be able to sneak away here as the uh, Italian uh, Scout, Croy, will eventually go down. Oh, that was a scrappy fight, but I mean, in the end, it's going to be sort of just Fluo defending with the, the help of Ace there. Got a Jazz coming in there. Oh, Sprasty gets another stab on Fenrir. Oh, Great gosh. positioning by him. Nobody checking that corner. He also with a big jump there. Level 2 is kind of passive from Arupo here, so he isn't really going to directly defend the point. Scramble's going to shoot that through the window with ease. Um, yeah. 
seemed a little gun. ambitious of a sentry gun. I was going to say earlier before kind of the um, action erupted again that as soon as you kind of lose that corner, it's just an inevitability that you're going to lose B um, yeah. in my mind, you know. But they killed, uh, they killed almost two and a half minutes just on that one point alone, and they've only got two and a half minutes now to actually cap E. So whether they want to go for C or not here is going to be questionable, but I mean, there is massive ads for Ares, but they lose their pyro. Yeah, getting C is really important. Without that bridge, um, it really limits the amount of players that can um, actually get on the point and get time uh, on it, you know, and um, the time doesn't matter if it's just impossible to finish it off. Right now, over on C, though, we do have a new recharge popped on Ace. Uh, it's going to fade shortly here. Pyro from um, Scotland trying to get in to punish afterwards. But the combo is able to retreat back towards E. Ritalin still chasing, but not close enough. And C will be conceded Ooh. here. Defu gets the sniper, though. He gets, uh, I mean, he gets the sniper, gets the med, sorry. So, uh, there's going to be no heals for uh, Ailey right now. I was going to say that a really good rotation. Ace and uh, Ares doing the right thing there to go under and just try and kite that. But, I mean, they're going to lose C. Bridges are down now. They've got one minute 40, and, like, you know, that should be enough time. They're going to rush to D, actually. No one yeah. here from Ailey to defend. Yeah, it's actually looking pretty solid for them. Um, they have an uber-charged demo man right on top of Sentry Gun. Going to be able to clear that out here. Um, the uh, capture from D also progressing nicely. Croy is up top. There's a soldier as well. They actually get the frag here, but there's still more players. So they should be able to control D and get the capture here. Starting to put time on E, and uh, this capture for D changes the spawns around a bit. It is pretty important stop. They get it done. Times four on the point here. And Scotland actually could be making this happen. Oh my god. They get the mini off, like... Yeah, like, really, and just almost single oh, handedly capping out D there because the soldier wasn't able to defend against his reflex. Ace is underneath, gonna get spammed out. Almost goes down for his troubles. We've got Deox and Fenris sort of in the sit in this top area. Basil oh. feeds onto the point. He's gonna be at five times, and I think they're gonna be able to do this. Fleur comes in with the spam. There's not enough damage, though. And they're gonna try and cap this out. Sprastis comes in in the last second. They're all very weak on the point, and that will be it, I think. And Scotland somehow managed to cap that out. That was absolutely insane. Yeah, certainly. I mean, um, when it comes to stopwatch maps, if a team puts a, a really fast time on the uh, first half of a set, honestly, you, you never can discount the uh, other team. You know, you could say like, oh, that was pretty much perfect. And then the other team can somehow um, come out and do it just a little bit more perfect. And uh, that was uh, certainly very well played by uh, Scotland. And again, we see the momentum going and, uh, you know, I can't help but think it's sort of tied into, you know, trying to stay in B just a little bit longer. And then again, their C defense never really happened. Um, the D defense couldn't really happen because they're trying to uh, get together on uh, E. But when you just lose players um, and then you continue to try to like patch over it and patch over it and patch over it without ever really taking a hard reset, um, it's uh, really tough to, to actually get your defense settled. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the weird thing there was the fact that they didn't really overcommit to be that much. I mean, they lost their gun, but yeah. like, it's kind of easy to rebuild that after you get to like C. But like the thing is, what happened was it kind of fell apart on C because their pyro died, and then Fluo tries to peek in. He dies to scrambled, and then it's literally a solo heavy Uber into like an entire team round a corner. Yeah, um, and it just it just falls apart from there really, and like they managed to rotate, but they grab C, so the bridges are up. They go behind, they get D, pretty much for free. As there's only three people trying to defend it, and then yeah, it's just like a, a cataclysm basically. Yeah, there's that big snipe on God's Ares as well. Yeah, um, that was a big factor of it because C was kind of already going down. You know, they they'd fled C after kind of that worthless, um, uh, that worthless uber charge uh, on the C point and uh, then getting sniped down basically yeah had no heals um, to either get players over to D to, to protect uh, or to just kind of keep those players on E alive to uh, free up resources in that sense as well so that's difficult yeah, and like I think, yeah, the combo rotations came out from uh, from Scotland. I think if anything, Italy just kind of needs to learn to like, um, like just prioritize like what points they actually want to defend. Like, and if they are going to defend them, kind of mm -hmm. to make sure that their flank's able to come in at the same time. Because I feel like their flank was kind of doing one thing and their combo were doing another. Like you had them kind of just chilling in the computer. Um, so I guess it's a bit, a bit of cohesion, really. But I mean, they might learn from this first round. I mean, it might it might all change now. I have to wait and see. Yeah, and um, we're waiting to see if the internet goes down or uh, gets better, I guess Scrambled was saying. 
But um, it doesn't seem okay now. Actually, as I looked, he had 75 ping, and now I looked, he's back up to 100. And so <laughs> I think he's the one in particular who's kind of trying to get settled. Um, it's uh, looking like it's bouncing around. But hopefully we get started again on the second set shortly. Right now, Scotland up 1-0. After Italy put in a very solid time on their offensive uh, half, but Scotland just a bit faster, 45 seconds faster, actually. So we'll see if uh, blazing fast offenses uh, continue to happen uh, as we shortly get into the second set, or if uh, now that teams are, are getting a little bit uh, warmed up and uh, um, uh, acclimated, if they can uh, put up a, a bit of a defense here. It sounds like... Yeah, sounds like Fenrir just taking a quick little break. Should be getting started shortly here, though. Yeah, I mean, the, the short times, I think, for this map like is really testament as to like, what I was saying before about it being one of those maps where pretty much anyone could just take it at any point. All you need is just, like a bit of momentum and some key picks, and then you kind of just roll it through and then block off the chokes. You win the games like that. So, yeah, kind of pressure's on uh, Italy now, I suppose, to try and even this up. Yeah, and uh, Scotland is going to start off on offense, so um, the uh, pressure uh, does get uh, interestingly intensified in uh, these stopwatch scenarios as uh, Scotland, if they put a really good time in on this offense, and you're, as, as Italy, it's like, oh man, you know, we did a, a really good job on our first offense, and then they did faster, and then again a fast time, yeah. and uh, all of a sudden just kind of a lot of mental weight. But, you know, um, teams. some teams are pretty good at dealing with that and are used to that and can shake it off. But again, these teams are also kind of um, mixed teams, not teams that play together uh, with each other regularly. And uh, the mental fortitude certainly uh, is one of those factors that kind of uh, suffers under these circumstances. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think some of the I think some of the Italian teams play together quite a bit, but the, the Scotland team definitely. I'll say you're right because they don't they rarely play together. But I mean, you know, that, obviously that hasn't really affected them so far since they managed to come back into this. Obviously, some decent calls and picks have uh, attributed to a fast win there. But um, got a got minis actually coming out from Raw Flush here to begin with. Um, a lot of pressure on A to begin with as well. But should be going for a bit of a stab. Gets body blocked and gets caught out. So unfortunate from him. But uh, yeah, it's typical sort of setup for B right now. Yeah, and also pretty typical over on A. Do you have the uh, engineer over there with the scout? Uh, frees up the uh, soldier to um, push with the uh, main combo. Guy's actually going to drop down. Gets on top of the sniper here. So that's uh, at least some sort of entry pick. And uh, trying to get some damage on the red demo man fluo. Ooh! Yeah. Chico gets the stab though. Gets the. I, don't know that was a, I think that was a drop anyway. Onto that, that was a drop, yeah. yeah. Sizzling. Fenrir just comes in though with this quick Uber, so they're already out of here. Rupo's really oh. scared and stuff comes in. Oh no. And a very quick Uber charge right afterwards. The uh, Sentry Gun was getting tucked backwards, gets taken out. It's going to be trying to build up again in that hallway. Uh, but they're bleeding some players here. I mean, 24 seconds on Croy. Um, he was in an odd spot kind of behind, but again, this is what we've been talking about where this kind of momentum builds up because. Um, they've lost him. They've lost their engineer. His uh, attempt to hold the uh, connector doesn't happen. Oh, no. And, uh, yeah, exactly. You're seeing what I'm seeing. As the spy comes in, gets the stab on the sniper. Not able to get the stab on the medic. Shooting with a revolver. No bullets connecting. I don't know. I was just say, trying to hold B, but it's like, oh, yeah, that's long gone. Mm. This is uh, an ambitious push out here. Uh, they, they can sort of cut off uh, blue. Gonna cut the team in half here. Yeah, but, uh, I can't believe they don't commit here because otherwise Ares is gonna be in a bad position. Gonna get jump. There's only two of them on B right now. Scramble to Deox is trying to make some space. Crow comes in with some nice damage. Gonna be trying to kill Deox, but the call is to get back for Italy. So gonna be sitting safe with their 100%. They're not gonna be making the same mistakes they made last round. Um, and yeah, I think the combo for Scotland just needs to kind of loop here and start making their way in. Yeah, just riddling um, kind of behind enemy lines. Is getting kind of chased. There also still though is the uh, soldier bees uh, over on the uh, D point. Yeah, bees with two kills. Right. Yeah, before he goes down. I, I mean, they've, they've, if anything, they've lessened the pace. Like Italy have slowed this game down completely. Like they've managed to pick off the yeah. a few times. Ace with some decent aggression. 100% um, odds. Well, 100% for areas is about 50% odd. They possibly want to push in with this. I think they know that about. Ace is getting really aggressive. He needs to not get caught out. They're not going to get any med pick with this though. I don't think so. Uh, so I'm going to be kiting this like safely up to this kind of cliff area. 
Okay, I'm not so sure about the supercharged Deox grabbing the uh, pack there in the corner, so we'll be able to survive forward. It does try to charge uh, to get the other pack by C, and it actually gets a very nice pipe kill on Ace, who wasn't quite paying attention. And that push uh, forward with the Uber Charge oh, basically God. completely concedes uh, C. They're trying to rotate over, but look at those stickies on the wall. Four stickies on the side, or maybe that's five, yep. So, and uh, doesn't pop them yet. God's Aries. They're maybe trying to rotate from below, but I mean, it's just way too late. These are, yeah, these are questionable decisions coming out from anywhere right now. Like, see, this is the problem with you aggress and they're on cliff, because they, they go cliff, they avoid you completely, they avoid the Uber, they have Uber, they're on C, they cap out C, and then it just becomes like a vicious cycle, really. So they're going to be rotating into uh, into computer. I mean, Jazz is behind the mid, going to be going for Ares right now, gets the force, actually, onto Ares, so terrible Uber for Italy. And uh, Deox is trying to kill the sentry, uh, gets killed off, though, actually falls into the pit. So get your exclamation mark pits in chat. <laughs> Oh man. oh man. Well, things yeah. still have uh, managed to slow down a little bit as um, the D side has been mostly cut off. You just really have the spy over there. Um, B is kind of lurking around in the weird spots, uh, sort of over towards C. But uh, the computer room kind of has been locked down, and Scotland does want to push through there. Supercharge has been used here. Ace is going to get caught off. Takes a little bit of time for him to go down. Pyro also getting some reflex in there. Uh, Ubercharge will kind of still stake their claim to the computer room. Devilman does go down. Very light pressure on E. And uh, Red doesn't have to really worry about that. Croy pushing forward. Uh, does get taken down by Jazz, who's working in there with very low health. And um, things may be starting to open up here for Scotland. Yeah, I feel like some of the Scottish players are kind of baited there. Like, they only had, two, they only had the scout and the demo defending, and the entire rest of the team was just waiting to go in. I feel like the Pyro could have held W there, but... Uh, we've got some... Like, Italy's coming in with this Uber, actually. They're going to be trying to catch out Fenrir on mid, but uh, they're going to be kiting this out pretty well, so... I mean, it's kind of a... It's always weird in these computer room situations where it's like, what, like defense is all here, and all the offense is here, so... Um, kind of a bit of footsie going on. Yeah. And uh, he's... Yeah, B is really the only one that's kind of on B side, um, but uh, now actually, whole blue team Scotland rotating over that direction. Try a different angle of attack after getting shut down on computer. Uh, El Chippo is over here. If uh, yeah, Sentry Gun does get uh, spammed down, Rupo trying to rebuild. <laughs> Yeah. Fenrir just jumped into the pit though. Another pit kill. Um, and this time it was the med, but I mean, Sentry's been rebuilt. Uh, Defuke's in the window. Uh, 20 grams is sort of in the spawn as well, trying to defend this. And like, that Uber was really early as well from Fenrir, so I don't know, kind of questionable decisions there. Yeah, yeah Deox uh, got thrown down as well. Uh, El Chippo trying to get, uh, figure out what stab to go for here. The um, en engineer does go down. One of those circumstances, we'll see if his uh, teleporter, or sorry, his sentry gun dispenser stay alive as El Chippo went down himself right after the engineer died. Could have been an easy sap. Yeah, definitely, but I mean, Uber comes into the main connector here from Ares, but I think actually going to find Fenrir, so Fenrir are back again on some ads, so very back and forth with these ads between these medics, but I mean, they're going to be holding sort of computer right now. Uh, no sentry right now, but he's jumping into the, well, kills off the level 1 actually that was being built, but I mean, they're kind of getting spammed out in this main connector still. Yeah, computer room still kind of locked down by Italy. Getting a lot of work out of that for sure. Rotation now? comes in from Death Corridor. They're on Uber now. They're gonna try and go in behind. I don't know if anyone's actually called this really. Uh, comes in behind, finds 20 grams, so no sniper. Finds a soldier, isn't gonna actually be able to pick him up. He manages. To, oh no, Mix does go down, so Sentry goes down as well. NG getting picked up almost as well. But I mean, they're gonna get flanked out again by this Uber. The caught in on D, this is not gonna go very well. Fenrir managing to run out with the scout though. Um, but I mean, a lot of players are Scotland going down in the meantime. Yeah, this is uh, where Steel really gets interesting because um, they definitely needed to capture D and get some pressure on that. Um, you know, it just kind of changes some of the spawns, spawning situations, and um, the Red Team Italy were just really holding down Computer Room. The, the way to get them out of Computer Room is to not just try to shove through Computer Room under these circumstances, it's to wrap all the way around and just try to capture D. Um, so they have kind of forced a, re a reaction, and then now that uh, the Italian team is established over at E, 
it's just actually a lot easier to you know maybe run through the computer room and get some capture time on D. Um, the back and forth is the balance, but um, as you can kind of make them bounce from one defensive location to the other, that's when you can possibly make them uh, make the mistakes. Yeah, and for the past like 90 seconds, like they've been doing the right thing and just clumping together. Like even when they pushed like really aggressive into the connector, they were clumped. But um, yeah, the combo's kind of sticking together really well. Uh, Rupert's been doing a good job of keeping these sentries keep like persistent in this one area, so it's mm -hmm. always on the back of their mind to kill those. And Scotland's kind of like trying to do these wacky death corridor rotations rather than just send in sacks. So and it's taking too much time as well. Like on, on even Ubers, it's risky to do this because they get called out like they have done from Mix. And uh, they're not going to be able to find many things here, I think. Yeah, their flank pressure has also been really light. Um, it was just the uh, Spy and Sniper pushing on flank. Um, Sprasty was able to help uh, finish off the kill there. It does try to rotate all the way around oh, to God. get a nice backstab, but wasn't able to do so. Yeah, and like Fenris only having to run away with his pyro. 20 grams goes down, so the three down right now for Italy. But I mean, they're combos together in White Room. They get some cap time here, but Fenrir oh, manages to, to duck out in the wrong direction. Like, I feel like. Uh, they managed to try and fight that. The force kind of has come out though. Some nice spam from Deox and uh, get to try and kite them out at this point. Yeah, the uh, Medic God Ares still in the computer. I was worried about them getting flanked, but the Pyro Basil is locking things down. Uh, there is some pressure on E. It's just going to be enough to freak out the Italians though and not actually get the capture. Uh, the heavy weapons Ooh. guy A is out of ammo. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, not able to protect his Medic. Gets um, taken out. And then it actually looks like there's some possibilities here without uh, D being captured. Oh. Croy jumping around like a madman though. Croy. There's a snipe on Fro uh, Fenrir as well. El Chippa goes down. Not that many players left up for Scotland. The capture is going to falter here. Pyro wants to maybe get out there. Is thinking about it. But there's a minigun up with a Wrangler. Good transition yeah. from uh, Urupo. I gotta give credit to the Italians there. That was like balls to the wall, all in there, like full commitment. Croy just holding W on Deox, managing to get that pick. And you know he does have fast spawns, but like you know he's delayed them long enough. It's, they've got their spawns up. The heavies here, the meds here. They managed to spam through this window. The sniper's going down quite low. Fenrir's kind of walking out. They're gonna go white room or like computer room with this, but I mean that's not where the point is. And Croy again with the aggression, but um, they do have ad actually. Yeah, I didn't see that Aries going down, so. Yeah, they're trying to bring that depressure again. Uh, things have definitely kind of dragged out here. Um, so getting um, a little bit of assistance on capturing last is going to help out. This is such a huge uh, confidence boost to the Italians, though. Just um, already. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, this already is a long time. Ten, look at that. Seven minutes, basically. Yeah. That next point. Ten minutes, 41 for steel is, like, absolutely terrible, let's say. Like, you're looking for, like, a quick time is, like, you know, four or five minutes. Average is probably like six or seven. So for it to be 10 minutes in the long cap E, you know, it's kind of getting worried. Oh, the big oh, bomb from gosh. Mex though slides up the stairs, gets Fenrir. Massive drop from Mex. Oh. So that's going to be a huge play for them, for the Italians to stay on this connector and just spam them off the point. Yeah, and plus El Chippo got shut down as he was coming in for a stab. Ace still gets uh, sniped by Dufuk. And it uh, looks like uh, Scotland is going to uh, get back on here. Uh, scout, heavy weapons guy, Devil Man, a lot of people fighting nearby. Scramble does kind of get the uh, message scrambled, uh, pushes a little bit too close to that BC connector and uh, taken out. Ubercharge coming out here from Croy. They also have Basil out here, so uh, the guardrails from D helping to uh, prevent people just getting air blasted oh, into God. the pit. But again, to the max with uh, some nice jumps up. It's actually bees in Royal Flush, binding to keep people safe up top. The medic in a weird spot. They're going to be able to heal up and uh, I think maintain control over this E point here. Yeah, I think they managed to cap it out eventually, but that's going to be like a 12 minute time. Um, really decent plays coming out of the Italians there, almost a 12 minute time. They'll be very happy with that. So um, for the Scottish to try and defend for 12 minutes, it's going to be a very interesting game, very long steel game. Um, but yeah, not the, not the ideal pushing time really. Yeah. Yeah, kind of tough one there, and uh, it'd be interesting to see if we, you know, get uh, actually a 12-minute defense from Scotland. Um, seems a little unlikely, but then again, um, after that um, kind of four and a half-minute capture um, in the first set by Scotland, I would say that 11:55-minute offense from them would be unlikely. So, um, you know, perhaps if they can similarly get a, a defense on C going on. 
you know that just uh, does allow some stability as the match uh, transitions into uh, a push on D and E. And um, in the first set, both teams really kind of steamrolled into D. And uh, we did see that uh, in this um, half, this uh, Scottish offensive push, that once they finally got D, they were able to easily capture E afterwards. Yeah, I think sometimes though, there's a bit of overcommitment for D. Like, it's not that great of a point, honestly. Like, if you manage to get picks and you manage to get the high ground on E, that's like, the main thing that matters, especially if you have Ubrad. But they didn't really have Ubrad, that was the problem. Yeah, and again, it's that uh, issue whether you can get established or not. If you can just transition yeah. right from capturing C to capturing um, E. It looks like we got a pause here. Um, if, if you can get a good push going into E, then, you know, yeah, you don't really have to worry about D. But as soon as things kind of start to falter, um, and that's why also, you know, if you get a good advantage um, from going into uh, uh, capturing C, uh, that's why I think it's smart to just kind of, you know, say, okay, we have this advantage. Um, let's just capture D to get more ahead, you know, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, if, if you do manage to cap it, it is quite big, though, because it can block off the spawns. Uh, mm -hmm. and makes it a lot easier to cap um, E that way, because you can just, all you got to do is block, like, the main connector. But, yeah, we've got a pause coming out here. I think Scramble sort of timed out, possibly coming back in a bit. Um, obviously, gives the teams a bit of an opportunity to think about what they're going to do. But I think... What Scotland needs to start doing, like when they cap this B point, is they need to like um, clump together for the rotations, like Italy were doing. Like the combo was together a lot of the time, and um, they were getting whips from their soldier as well, and like their scouts with them as well for the Ubers. So um, just making sure that like when they use the Ubers, they're able to pick off the bed and stuff like that. But I think we are unpausing. Uh, yeah, indeed we are, and uh, I don't see anybody DC'd, so that's a plus. And capture goes uh, under just fine on A point. They also pick off El Chipo. Oh, they rotate and they dropped it and dropped down. They went drop down, but this actually interesting. So they're going to be trying to use onto Ace here. A very late use as well. So it's going to be decent ish from Italy. Uh, De Fuch somehow managed to get out there um, on very low health. The scramble is still on this top area, so no one's really contesting him. Um, we're gonna be trying to peek this ace. is gonna be oh the one we want from scramble to ace. Oh, wow. Uh, it does go in ace's favor, but he does lose it out to Ritalin in the end. Yeah, the sentry gun taken out, but um, it does look like there's gonna be a respite from the fight here. Um, Bees and Jazz go down as I say that, and El Chippo. So there's actually gonna be a little bit of momentum uh, for the Italians here. <clears throat> They're also starting to get that uh, just side pressure uh, on E. It's, uh, somebody's gonna have to go back to deal with that. Oh uh, yeah. So I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. So this is where Scramble thing times out, but he comes back in soon. But I mean, they managed to pressure the sentry pretty hard on B. So uh, Scotland's still under some pressure here. Spy comes in, gets some nice sap onto it. Um, gonna get spammed out by the demo as well. So we will be trying to look to go in here. Both medics on very equal percentages. So Uber exchange will come out very shortly. I'm expecting. Yeah, scrambled looks like he's finally going to be starting to rejoin here as uh, B going down. <clears throat> Got a decent new exchange though. I mean, Chipper's coming in for the stab now. I managed to get the pyro. That's about it though. But uh, I managed to get out alive actually. But Ares sort of uh, tanking his heavy with that Uber and Scrambled trying to contest this. Uber with a decent sentry placement here actually. He's trying to uh, come back into B. And there's a log going down for Scotland right now. There's like four down as they only just get the spawners in. Uh, need to be careful they don't get sort of rolled here as they want to defend C, possibly. Yeah, El Chippo. Oh, oh gets no. The stab. Spotted by the engineer, which is always the nightmare. You see him decloak, de and the words are half out of your mouth, and your spy, or their spy, has already stabbed the medic. They're still charging forward, though. Going to see if they can just take uh, C for free. And I think if they throw the bodies at it, they could, because there's only. Well, now the heavy weapons guy scrambled this here as well. It'd be a little bit more difficult. Very weak though, I mean like Fleur is quite weak, Basil's quite weak, they've been trying to come in now, they're kind of like tippy-toeing around here early, they're not sure whether they actually want to push in. Uh, Scramble's defending it, they've got, this, they've got 20 grams on Sniper on this cliff, but uh, Scramble going really aggressive, they're actually looking for a bit of a play. Ares walks into him though, oh and he gets the medic, Scramble with a massive drop down play, oh. just surprised Ares there, I'm not really sure what Ares was doing stood there, but uh, yeah, no uh, no med for early or not. Yeah, Chippo kind of screwed that up, um, dropped his disguise, and then got gunned down by the sentry, but uh, was going for the medic there to help out. Scramble had it under control. 
Um, the sentry gun on the side does get taken out there by Deox, who um, gets blasted kind of across the, the pit. Spy decloaks in front of everybody, but is able to walk away. And the uh, C-Point has gotten captured. Probably a good concession from Scotland, but um, the timer is kind of rough here. Eight minutes to go on the defense. Mm. Well, if you remember before, it took them seven minutes to cap D, like just D. Mm. So, I mean, whether they can defend D or E for seven minutes here, we'll have to wait and see. But, I mean, they've got level two up um, from Arupo as uh, they're trying to make some space in here. But we've got uh, a lot of the teams sort of just hanging around a main connector here. Uh, got the uh, good old bauble coming out from the scout to try and deny 20 grams from sniping. Yeah, Basil doing a good job just staying really uh, close to the medic, doing the boring work of just spy checking, spy checking, spy checking. But the uh, spy was lurking, so that's important stuff. <clears throat> a lot of pressure on E right now. I've got Ace just leading the charge in here with his meds. going to be sitting on 100%. I mean, Scotland are kind of taking their time to try and contest this. They have Uber. I don't know whether they're just like, trying to take this fight into the heavy. Okay, so I guess someone's onto the heavy. Basil comes into this Uber as well. Scotland should probably leave here and just rotate to spawn because they're going to get screwed by this heavy otherwise. As uh, Ace just does not care, he's still in here. Scout comes in though to this fight, into the computer. A lot of uh, back and forth here, but in the whole time that's been going on, uh, Croy has been on the point with a massive amount of cap time. And Croy just holds W wow. on the demo and gets that pick. He's doing so much really right now. If he can kill Riddle in here too. Oh, uh, he close. almost does. Actually, good work there. <clears throat> And again, pressure going in on the point, and Ritalin's got to get out there to, to put some contention on it, as a Basil just kind of uh, pushing people away. And uh, indeed, actually, it looks like Italy will be doing this and capturing the point with plenty of time to spare, tying up the match one set to one. Yeah, I mean, Scotland's are trying to take those combo fights and, like, massive disadvantages. Like, they didn't have any pick advantage, they didn't have any uber advantage. They didn't have any positional advantage either, really, because they were just, like, right next to them. They didn't want to kite through a choke. Mm -hmm. um, and they, like, they didn't really play around the sentry at all. Uh, didn't really pick off the sniper, the flanks. Like, I think they were kind of controlling the flanks okay, but, like, um, just the pressure from the Italian combo was too much, I feel. And, uh, yeah, Scotland's needing to group and try and take those combo fights in better circumstances. Yeah, Croy really dangerous on the flank as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, open that um, situation up both with uh, his uh, time that he put on the point and uh, additionally with that uh, just kind of one-on-one -on -one rush down of the uh, demo man on the side because you had F um, Fenrir and, and Deox just kind of camping in, in computer and um, with the scout just coming in and getting that free kill on top of uh, Ritalin, the pyro being there as well. Uh, pretty ridiculous stuff. And uh, without a demo man, that just kind of really hampers your ability to uh, pressure the point from afar. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's pretty much no downside to him doing that. I mean, on offense, at the point where you cap, like, C or maybe even D, like, your offense respawn time is almost instant. So for him to just sort of think, you know, I'm going to try hold W if I get the demo, you know, it's like a 24-second respawn time or something for the demo. Yeah. So, you know, pretty pretty big picks from him to get that, and it denies the amount of space that they can... Uh, well, denies the denial of the space, I suppose, for Scotland and, you know, Italy take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Back to square one, I guess. So it's one one apiece uh, on this uh, steel map, Scotland versus Italy. Um, so uh, you know, decent sort of close first round, but Italy kind of dominating that second round. Let's see if they can take that momentum into this third and final round. Um, let's see if Scotland sort of learn anything from what Italy were doing. Yeah, it certainly bodes well <coughs> for Italy. Just kind of uh, being able to get the very nice quick capture there again. They basically had two quick captures under their belt. They get a third here. It'll certainly put a lot of pressure on Scotland to be able to match that on their uh, offensive portion of this set. And uh, Chippo gets uh, gunned down. A lot of players over on A, but uh, probably see the rotation, especially since the medic's not over there with him. <clears throat> yeah, they might consider a drop down push, but I mean, got the uh, got a Rupert actually with the. Level 3, placing it through the shutter before it's even been opened. That's interesting, that was another four. But uh, Sprasti trying to make some space, uh, possibly on this B. Getting ready to go in. Hasn't actually been found out. Bumps into the demo, <laughs> it still hasn't been found out. Jumps over wow. the sentry. Oh, uh, you managed to sort of. Oh, it gets called out, I think. But uh, that massive rotation actually going in for a possible E push. No, drop down push yeah. comes in, never mind. 
And uh, Sprasty did get found out, so not able to really help out or, or be too much of a distraction. Engineer able to pull that gun back, and actually Ooh. Fenrir gets taken down. Oh no. By 20 grams. No, the big snipe comes well. in though. To, like Fenrir not really sure where to stand as the rest of his team is going to back in out and uh, gets caught out. So 20 grams is going to be taking advantage of that. I guess the uh, the headshot onto the med for a drop. But this is a problem now because they've got you know, a Rupo level 3 sentry on this uh, E point. They've rotated into connector. There's no pyro hits. There's neither from walking in. No air blast. Relling going down. Croy with some good DM with the help of Mex. Jeez. Mex coming in, destroys the demo, destroys the sentry. Absolute obliteration on Scotland right now. There's only two up. It's only Fenrir and Scramble and like it's kind of just left them in a position of confusion. Yeah, fantastic plays right now by Italy as uh, just this pressure is so immense. Uh, the combo is kind of stuck in the spawn here, having to rotate back out to B-side. Going for a bit of a flank play here, but uh, once Italy realizes this, they actually should just be able to push through this combo and kill him if they want to. They're going to leave him for now. Okay, Aces comes out now. And Uber Charge is used here. Fenrir is going to have to run to uh, all the way to C. Um, Ace is actually going to chase a bit. And uh, there goes Deox. Killed in a hot situation. Ritalin's out here. Gets gunned down. God. And oh my god. Fenrir actually was trying to run through C. But since the B point wasn't captured, that gate was locked. Yeah. So he was trapped back there. Yeah, no way out. Only, only four of as well again for Scotland. But oh. I mean, in all this time, it, I mean, it's not been that... Weirdly, it's actually not been that big of an issue because they haven't capped B. They're only just capping B. They haven't capped E. And they're going to try and get some pressure now. Pyro gets picked up. Uh, Ares is going to be trying to, you know, possibly solo his heels onto the onto the heavy. But Deox, there's no way Deox is getting in there. So he smartly decides to back out and hold connector. So a bit of a weird set of exchanges there. But yeah, but yeah you got to the heart of the matter where, you know, um, in payload, the only thing that matters is the cart. In, in this map, the only thing that matters is uh, capturing E. And if you can't yeah. actually finish that uh, capture off, you know, all your posturing in front of B um, and by E just like doesn't really matter. It's about to be at zero percent again. Um, what remains to be seen is whether Scotland can actually turn this into a defense of C. And uh, they're in that kind of connector, uh, the BC connector. And uh, it's an odd space to be because uh, you're basically just kind of standing right in between two pincers uh, waiting to get chomped on and uh, also can't really actively oh, no. defend the point itself. Heavy weapons guy was uh, chomping on a sandwich back there. He's gonna get taken out. They get spammed out, like this is the problem, like it's the same thing they did with Scotland, like they're getting spammed out of their own point. And it Rupa with his 1000 IQ level 3, but it does get killed because he didn't wrangle it, but uh, Deox is going to be getting caught out now, hey, he's just holding W, you're going to be taking on the demo, takes on the pyro, Jeez. easily killed by the close quarters class of the heavy there, but uh, I mean, importantly Royal Flush does have his level 3 on E, so protecting the uh, the main objective here, going to give up C, so that's about a, what, 4 minute time, exactly 4 minutes actually. So, uh, it, semi decent defense considering the circumstances for Scotland, but I mean, there's a massive trail of people coming into the arena. Yeah, and it looks like they should be able to get D, um, maybe a little bit premature on that call, but um, because, yeah, as the spawns have worked out, this is turning into a bit of a pincer from yeah. um, the Scottish team. And uh, Fluo is just going to get caught on the point alone. Everybody else has evaporated. And uh, even in the meantime here, Sprasty trying to get a sap on the sentry gun isn't able to complete that um, against the uh, engineer. And uh, things starting to settle down for Scotland here a bit. Wait, oh, Croy trying to make a play onto the mid. Not going to find it though, so decent defended there. Um, going to be trying to rotate into computer, I think. But yeah, like I said about that pincer movement before, it was just kind of that's the risk of going for D. Like, you can get pincered from computer and the own spawn, and the advantage with the defense spawn there is the shutter is right next to the point, so it's kind of hard to confirm kills really. But Pirate mm -hmm. lasting away, trying to get people mm -hmm. to the pit, but not going to find anything. Yeah, El Chippo uh, Ubered up and uh, guns down the Pyro. Um, under the circumstances. Also in a good spot to maybe get a decloak and a stab here. So I going to stab. At least uh, at least able to really give some uh, good information here. This is a big rotation though right now coming in from Italy. They're going to be going to go around to this A point. Just going to computer. That, I mean, yeah, Scotland have read this perfectly, so they're already set up here. Uh, the problem is though that Ares is 100% and I don't know whether they know this. Yeah, I mean, that's going to help out here, but uh, still, it's kind of a difficult area to push through. Yeah. The pyro is going to be here, and uh, Spy kind of on the side. Deox has backed up, so really nothing accomplished with that Uber Charge. They, they, they took the white room. I mean, that's something, but... 
I'm also able to get the sentry gun down with a combination of work from Sprasty and the sniper. The uh, red spy, El Chippo, looking to uh, decloak here oh, shortly no. in a position, but actually the uh, rest of his team is going to come in. Screws up his uh, intelligence work, but at the same time does shove the Italians out of the point. Pressure on E, but that gets wrapped up. Oh, the combo from Scotland, just not really sure where they want us to be standing, like they get spammed out. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they don't oh, lose too God. much, fortunately. Fenrir, I mean, Ares, sorry, uh, trying to for his life. Oh, we'll yeah. get picked up. Oh, he gets a, he gets a sword. He, he gets a sword and lives somehow. That might actually be okay, but Fenrir will still have ads, so I'm not sure. Like, I mean, it's a good play, but not as big of a play. But Dale should be trying to defend this basically by himself. Never oh. mind, because Sprasti comes up with the stab. Fenrir's left on his own. He'll be getting chased down by the spy. Imagine to get out, but uh, yeah, a bit of uh, a bit of chaos happening right now. Yeah, that was a really important stab again. You know, we talked about it a little bit, of how important the demo man is in these de defensive situations. We're able to get a lot of players on D right now, and uh, one of those circumstances where if you're Scotland, uh, well, I don't know, they're thinking about sending out the heavy weapons guy, but just the capture so far progressed that uh, if you lose players in this fight and they, and they capture D, you're just going to lose E as well. So they're backing off, very careful about it, and uh, well, at the same time, Fenner does choose to Ubercharge and stand on the point to stop it. They are going to decide to contest D here. Yeah, but, lots, uh, uh, lots of damage coming in, actually. I mean, the Uber was pretty effective. Like, this is the well, problem actually, like I mentioned yeah. before. But, uh, I mean, Ares going oh. down? Wow, yeah, Fenrir got stabbed, though. Oh, it's Brasty, then guns down, scrambled, and oh, gets God. a stab on the sniper. Stands on the point for good measure. Just the times one, and has to watch out for the demo man. Jumping around actually finds a royal flush <clears throat> down on the lower level. And uh, D will be going down as... Uh, <clears throat> Italy finally able to get that capture. Scotland in a little bit of a, a panic after that fight on D. A little d discombobulated. Deox, um, good stickies to get the kill on Basil. Royal Flush goes down the pit as Deox also gets killed. And uh, B's on the side here. No time really yet for uh, Italy. They might not have this yet, but as I say that, Irupo gets the kill on Ritalin. Players starting to get out here. Certainly a lot tougher. Or Scotland up to offer a defense on this point now. Yeah, like Scotland already grouping before they go in here. Like the, the mm. point's not fully capped. They have like you know a few seconds to kind of just group themselves together and then run in. But I mean, it's too fair to say that. But the, you know, the point time they've got so far is decent. Uh, Pyro goes down actually. That's a decent pick to try and allow the bombers onto the point. Uh, it's only about half cap, but a Rupa with this sentry just you know. Absolute god tier engineering right now coming out from a Rupo. He managed to deny White Room, comes around, denies it from uh, sort of Locker's area, and then puts his gun aggressively to completely deny this. And that'll be about an 8 minute 20, 8 minute 30, never mind, 9 minutes. So, yeah, to be fair, considering that's a decent defense coming out from Scotland. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I think that the Italian team was uh, probably pretty happy with their A and B push. Um, and kind of, we even saw that weird situation where kind of Fenrir was trying to rotate out through B, but uh, because it had not been captured yet, he just got caught there. And it was kind of, again, this is such a weird map. It's, it, it definitely has a lot of comparisons to Payload, you know, where in Payload, if you wipe the enemy team and then you wipe the enemy team again, and then you're standing in front of their spawn, but you're not pushing the cart, you know, yeah. it's like your advantage that you just earned is going to evaporate, you know, just because of how spawn timers and everything else work out. And really, at the end of the day, all that matters is how fast you capture um, the final point, you know. So being able to spawn camp while you're slowly capturing B times one, and then, you know, you're not really giving yourself the tools to actually finally capture the last point faster, um, your push is going to falter. And that's why I think we ended up with a, a nine minute time. So, yeah, I think like there was probably a bit too much focus on trying to get kills there from the combo from Italy. I mean, if they got more point time earlier on, they managed to get like the bridges up earlier, get some pressure in, with possibly with their engineer and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, Chippo possibly looking for this heavy stab in a second. Gonna be getting some pressure on a eh? 20 grams gets the better of that uh, sniper 1v1 for now. But I mean, these meds have been like sort of dropping and dying in this area, which is kind of weird uh, for B. So I'm kind of looking for them to like actually have a decent exchange for once at this point. 20 grams actually managing to uh, get a lot of picks actually, I think, so uh, denying this uh, tunnel area quite a lot. Getting the, getting the sniper v sniper going with Defouk as uh, Fluo managed to pick him off in the end, I think. 
And uh, El Chippo got that stab on Ace earlier, but then the sort of odd situation when you're a spy and the other players chooses to hide in the corner you're hiding in, and you're like, bro, what are you doing? So El Chippo's uh, chances for subterfuge kind of uh, taken out. And the Uber Charge coming out here from uh, God. Yeah, 20 grams going pretty nutty here, and um, very solid hold on B point here for Italy. Fenrir, balls of steel, honestly. Like, if, if I was him, I easily would have popped in that situation. He somehow manages to get out and wait for a proper push in again, because he, he, he dropped Deox, and then Scrambled was like trying to eat, and Shippo was like stuck up there as well. But Deox isn't alone here, it's probably waiting for the rest of his team to come in, but no sentry right now on this B point. And a uh, massive snipe from Dufu to get the snipe onto Fluo, but I don't know if they know about this heavy up here. I think he spammed out. Yeah, Sprasty did get uh, called out. And uh, the upper area is under control. Fenrir stanked down oh, God. again. Oh, God. Dropped to a charge shot from 20 grams. Uh, it's just like the advanced, like, just wait for the rest of your team to go in, bro. Wait for them to call the yeah. tear and then walk in. Like, I don't know. It's just some of these drops, like, I feel like could have been avoided. I mean, the spy ones have been pretty legit, but the sniper sight lines are kind of interesting on this map, all of it. Yeah, that's a rough, uh, rough pill to swallow. Um, it's definitely all right, though. Um, God's Ares actually has to watch out. Okay, never mind. It does pop the Ubercharge. I was worried about the uh, spy coming in. El Chippo does get the kill on Basil, but um, so many frags. Oh my god! Um, wow, actually almost everybody. B's the only one left up for a hot moment there. And um, Heavy Weapons guy comes through the uh, teleporter. And uh, to the max is going to uh, punish that. To the max. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you always send one person ahead to scout how close their combo is when you push into main connector, because otherwise they will just roll you all the way back mm. to B and you'll get wiped. So, yeah, they'll definitely learn from that. They're going to try and scout this out. They know they're on C now. The Med's quite forged with the soldier here, but. And El Chippo coming in here for the staff. Oh, it does get it oh. on God's Ares. Nice. That'll give them a big oh, advantage. A, another drop. Yeah, well, I just, uh, I think it was like Dive Sound, he's building it back up, but still a decent advantage. I mean, everybody with this, you know, big sentry sort of just on C. They've got they're both their sniper and their NG defending C here. Uh, sentry gets pulled out. Decent snipe from 20 grams onto Deox there. Need denying the push in. Yeah, Flew getting some stickies out as well. And uh, seems like Scotland probably does want to push through there. Uh, they're pretty hesitant about it, though, and are starting to explore the possibilities over on E. Um, Bees is nearby, and they do have Jazz able to get on the point. Um, having that scout really is the, oh, the key no. component. You do have to pop the Uber Charge here, but should be able to get the uh, kill on the Heavy Weapons guy. El Chippo up top as well, so it has a few sight of... Uh, or, the Sentry. You know, oh! Yeah, Sentry Ooh. taken out. Close. I thought so, I was get the med though. The, the pressure actually continues on E while they're also capturing C uh, all the way out. And uh, this amount of time on E does kind of make things a little nerve-wracking because... They can possibly just finish up the capture on C and then rotate back into E. Um, but uh, seemingly have been preferring to just kind of continue into D and get that capture. Uh, are fairly well set up for that with uh, Chippo over there um, with few, full view of uh, what the circumstances are. Does D cloak up here. Trying to come in on God's Ares, um, but uh, called out and piped down. See, now, the interesting thing here is whether Scotland know... Okay, they decided to back out of Death Corridor, that's smart, because I didn't know whether they knew whether Italy had add or not. I mean, it's only small, but, I mean, they should just mm -hmm. probably focus on trying to get E here. I mean, like you said before, they got a decent amount of cap time. It's just a Reaper's gun here, and they're going to be trying to get spammed out by the soldier, but, I mean, yeah, easy pick up for Dufuk on the sniper, getting that um, NG, but Mech's trying to jump in here. Fenrir getting launched into the air. Yeah. Ooh, he just gets forced. Not that great, but we'll see how this ends up. Yeah, a couple players down though for Scotland, so it's a little bit tough here. Um, so those players have already respawned, but Deox um, has to back out. Uh, Bees does get the health pack up top, and uh, we'll go in to fight this uh, demo man. Puts down a bit of damage on Fluo, um, but uh, the uh, arrows are there, and the uh, defense on E has recovered. Uh, in response, now the rotation to D, and uh, this is uh, really well played. And, uh, definitely a good example of what you should be trying to do here. Yeah, like the, like the intent is good, but like they didn't have enough players when they rotated in. It was literally just scrambled them from there, and this is going to be a complete white basically on this combo for Italy as they come in with the flank. So you know, decent rotations coming in from Italy, but again, it's a distraction for the E cap time. But like, it doesn't matter if like the cap time is not going to be consistent. But yeah. maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're baiting it out for the sniper to get some picks here as the heavy goes down. 
This is the uh, classic struggle of steel to be like, oh, well, we almost have D. Oh, we almost have E. We almost have D. We almost yeah. have E. You know, and just bouncing, yeah, bouncing back and forth and never really accomplish anything. So, have three minutes uh, with which to accomplish something. Uh, El Chippo trying to get behind uh, 20 grams here. And uh, we'll uh, resort to the revolver. Does get the frag though before going down, so that's helpful. And, oh, um. You can build like, it's gonna be yeah. using an Uber. Like, as I they have, they know they have this advantage. The comma's gonna get caught out. They managed to back out a decent amount to prefer. So they might not get caught out. There's only Deox only dying mm -hmm. here. Power needs to live as well. Um, but yeah, they have yes. this advantage if they decide to come back in. Still pretty significant uh, retreat, and we'll see what they can get done with their own Uber charge. But there's not really a lot of combat classes up here. In fact, it's only just the Pyro that's uh, connected with the Medic here. And um, heavy weapons guy in here now, but still not really the best circumstances to pop. They're starting to work in the white room here as a scout is here. They use the uber charge, but the oh, heavy weapons God. guy was indecisive about it. It was only the scout. It's sort of classic uh, medic terrible. panic. Yeah, as the medic you know, knew that the situation was kind of uh, shaky, but uh, didn't know who was there. As soon as they ran into the scout, it was just like, oh, I just have to pop it. There's stickies. Uh, it's danger. Um, but that is not the case. Now they're going to have oh problems with this sentry gun. As the, uh, <laughs> yeah, heavy weapons guy scrambled. It's been doing such a good job with these sentry rotations. Like they're catch he's catching everyone out with these sentry guns, like mm -hmm. this sort of health gun health pack gun to try and deny D. Scramble shouldn't have been in there alone though, like, that's kind of a misplay on his part, to be honest. Like he, like just pushing in there as a heavy alone is like suicide basically. And yeah, uh, yeah decent sort of pressure in here from Mex to try and get them out, but um there's too many picks. Actually, to be fair, there's only four up right now for Italy, I'm not really sure what happens. Well, uh, a bunch of frags, pressure from bees on the side, and actually Ubercharge forced to use out here, Ritalin, getting the pressure on the side. Still low, not a lot of capture time on, on any point, whether it's D or E. Starting to get some players out there, but Jazz has to rotate the fear of the engineer in to get the health pack. He just needs to get time on the point now while they also stay forward. Deox needs some heals. The medic uh, Fenner is unable to find him. There goes bees as well. You can't Fenner, just, you oh my god, what are you doing up there? <laughs> Jeez. This is the scrappiness of steel E point. He's trying to oh, melee the no. sniper now, gets picked off. But, like, yeah, Diok needed oh, some heals no. earlier on. There's only four up right now, though. Very weak. Spy comes in. Spasty with the 2k on the point. Massive place for Spasty. Could be turn oh. revolver down. Helped out by Ace. Trying to defend this alone now. There's only 40 seconds left. This is absolute chaos right now, Alex Stone. Yeah, I like to play crazy uh, uh, medic, but uh, that might have been a little too crazy from Fenrir. As he was slow to get the heals out, but now he's actually on point with bees and his heavy weapons guy. And actually, I think oh they're God. making it happen. Oh my God! The Italians are crumbling. Perhaps the suicide med play was oh the God. move. As uh, now players it. coming out here and uh, unable to stop it. And oh my God! That it. was. That was absolutely clutch right there from Scotland. Like the jumps in onto heaven and then like just randomly Fenrir having to like try and melee people, somehow doing enough damage to help the rest of the team come in and then Sprasty with the 2k, thought it was gonna go downhill, Ace coming in, they claimed the frags and like an absolute mad cap by Scotland there. So really well played by them to kind of um collaborate onto that push in the end. Yeah, pretty wacky stuff as uh they make it happen, and what seemed like it was all falling apart, you know, just kind of unable to get D to kind of make things progress, um, as well as um, a fairly solid capture from Italy. I mean, I guess the Scottish defense um, in that final half certainly proved to be sufficient. 